still preparing. <laughs> All right, we are live, Beth. Thank you for being here with us today. We're so excited to have you guys. Um, for everyone that just joined us, I am here talking with Beth English, and she is a local Nashville artist. Hi, I'm so happy to be here with you today talking about all the things we have going on in um, the Nashville Creative Group for Arttober Nashville. You know, I love Arttober. It's something that I've been involved in since, goodness, since we met Erin, like 10 years ago, I feel like, you know, <laughs> uh, when it was just getting started, we've done so many projects during the month of October to celebrate arts and humanities in Nashville. Do you remember when we painted a mural on a roof of a building in downtown for October? I, I do. I remember that. I mean, that was such a fun time. Where was that? Is that building still there? Yeah, the mural is still there. It's on the top of the McKendree Student Life Center on Fifth and Commerce. Yeah, um, that was a fun one. And I'm trying to think, well, you are our featured artist in 2018. Um, we actually featured your work purpose. And I'm, I'm going to go get it because I have it right here. Oh, great. And then another oh, year that, think, that you didn't know I had. Awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. That looked great as the, as the work that you did for the Arttober. What was that? Three years ago? Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was three. So, well, another time we, we, um, painted a, uh, a picture out in front of fifth and fifth and the fifth bank is that the yeah on yeah. A, a avenue yeah. of the arts we did a, a group project there as well so artober is something that i've always been passionate about because it really does a great job of bringing together not only artists but arts organizations and it gives us all a platform to go out and have these fun initiatives that matter to us as individual artists and organizations and so i can't wait to tell you about what we're doing this year for the 10th anniversary yeah so beth um do you want to fill them in on kind of what you have going on because you've you've got some exciting stuff that i think now playing nashville is involved in as well yes we do it's um it's with the nashville creative group and if and if you're not familiar with the nashville C creative group it's a community here in nashville that has brought together all types of artists and we have been meeting and connecting with one another since 2012. So this has been going on for nine years, which is amazing to me that over the last decade that we have been dedicated as an arts community to connecting with one another, not only in person, we had monthly in-person events for eight years until COVID hit. And then, um, but we've stayed connected online. Our group is primarily on Facebook, um, but we do have an Instagram account as well. But the thing about the creative group that I love so much is that you can't go to an art event in Nashville and not see someone that you know from the creative group because it has just done a good job of welcoming in all the new people who've moved here over the last decade to give them a platform to know how to get started, how to navigate the arts here in Nashville, and how we can work with one another to share our resources, to promote the things that we're doing, and to just connect as artists. Because as creative, sometimes we work alone and it can get pretty isolating. And so having one another has been so important over the years to help us all grow together. You know, we need that community as a support system. And that's exactly how it's been serving the community over all these years. And so this month we're having a art competition. It's called Create and Feel Art Competition because we've been through a lot the last couple years. And I am no stranger to struggle. So what I have learned as an artist is that it's really important that when you have emotions or energy or experiences that bring you down, 
that make you feel stressed and burnt out and depressed, that you do some type of creative activity to let it go, to release it, to express yourself in a way that feels healthy, that feels like you're honoring what you're experiencing in a beautiful way, right? That's the type of artwork that I create. And that's the type of experiences I want people to know me about by. So the Create and Fill Art Competition is a way to encourage artists to express themselves, to express their emotions and tell a story about what they've been through or where they are right now. Now, the most exciting thing about this competition is that the winner gets to be Artist of the Week on the Nashville sign by the Arts and Business Council. That means that the winner is going to have their artwork on the big digital billboard at the intersection of West End and Broadway. Now, I was Artist of the Week back in August, and let me just say, there is no way I can explain how it feels to see your artwork pop up on the big screen for the very first time. So this is a great way for artists in the community to have a chance to be Artist of the Week. Now, before this, it's primarily people who are graduates of the Periscope program through the Arts and Business Councils. But in this instance, it's open to anyone who wants to apply. So I have a website called createandfeel.com where you can go and learn about the competition, how it works exactly, what you have to do, how are you going to submit your work. And there's another thing that's really exciting about this process as well. And that's that the for those who believe in the transformational power of art, they know how incredible it is. Well, we are going to measure that. So what we have is a survey set up so that we get to capture a creative profile of the artists before they create the work or talk about the work they created. Then they submit their work and then they do another part of the survey that's primarily focused on how they were feeling when they created the work. And so we get to see this before and after snapshot of what it's like for an artist to create work, using their emotions to channel them into the art and getting that information is going to be so powerful for us to better understand the power of creativity and the transformational effects it has on us as individuals. So I'm, this is like my life's work. And so I can't tell you how excited I am that we are doing this competition right now, because not only are we gathering all this great information about using creativity and how beneficial it is in our lives, but we're also, you know, giving the community an opportunity to express themselves, feel heard and seen, and also give them a chance to win artists of the week, but not only that's not the only prize there's more <laughs> and there's more, right? <laughs> <laughs> they get to be featured on nowplayingnashville.com. So thank you, Aaron, for that opportunity for the artists. I think that's incredible. They also are going to get a hundred dollars. And so there's no reason why you shouldn't apply. So if you're an artist out there and you're watching us right now, I want you to think about work that you would like to submit. Okay. The deadline is October 31st. So we're going to spend the whole month of October talking about this, talking about the impact that creativity has on us as individuals and as a community. And so get out there, go to the website, read all about it, create work, or maybe you've already have some work that you've created that you want to submit and then go through the process step-by-step and you'll be entered. So we've got three incredible judges who are all award-winning, one from Nashville, one from Chicago, and one from Seattle. So kind of spread out, which I like, because we're all going to have unique perspectives. And so we'll go through, they'll go through the submissions, they'll choose finalists, and then they'll choose a winner. And the winner will be notified by November 20th. So we have a lot going on and it just feels so exciting. So what are sort of your first impressions of this competition, the more that I talk about it with you? Well, I am so excited. I mean, this is a great opportunity, Beth, that you're bringing to Nashville and to the Nashville community and especially the artist community. Um, I guess one of my questions that I do have is, you know, what type of works are you looking for in this competition specifically from an artist? Well, we, it's open to all visual work. So that means painting, mixed media, photography, digital collage. It could be 2D, it could be 3D, um, pottery. You know, there's, there's really no limit to what you can submit. 
as long as it's some type of visual artwork, because it does have to display a certain way right on, on the Nashville sign, right? So, um, but any type of work that you feel like you've used your emotions to channel something through you to create work that is an imprint of who you believe you are as an artist. And so in the art competition, there is a a box where you'll fill in sort of the story about the work and how you were feeling and what led you to create this and why you used it and why are the materials meaningful? Why is the, uh, the work meaningful? What does it what does it mean for you to share it and to express it? And so using that information along with the images that are submitted, that's how the judges will go about, um, you know, critiquing the work. So just based on the create and feel sort of theme in general, to see how well the artist was able to execute their work tied to sort of the story they're trying to tell with it. Yeah, I love that you kind of explain the create and feel um, behind it. Um, I know you had mentioned to me last Friday that you were doing this and that you partnered with a specific organization. I think it's with a university out in California. Yes. So I'm working uh, with my research partner, Jonathan Cromwell. He is a award-winning researcher, creativity researcher, and he's at the University of San Francisco. He's the one who designed the, um, the survey with all the questions. And so he is an MIT and Harvard grad. So he is very, um, very smart. So I trust him and he's been such a great partner to work with. And cause we're both just really passionate about creativity and really passionate about the creative process. And one thing that we learned over the months that we've gotten to know each other is that there is a lack of research when it comes to the impact that emotions have on creativity, the, the impact that um, emotions have on our productivity at work. And so this study is just going deeper into that space when it comes to how our emotions impact the way that we create and the way that we produce any type of new idea that we have. So he's really excited. You know, we just kind of felt like this was a great partnership. And so, um, this is who I'm, who I've been working with and I couldn't be more, um, just pleased with how it all came together because this has been, you know, a project I've been working on for the last four months. And so sometimes you don't know how it's all going to turn out until you actually get there. And so here we are. And you know what we have, and there's more, right? If you're not sure exactly how to channel your emotions and create artwork, I'm hosting a three-part workshop series this month that's going to teach you exactly how to do that. So it's called The Secrets of Healing Through Creativity. And I'm teaching that workshop with another um, partner of mine. His name is Jeff Lizowitz. And we are going to teach a one-hour workshop Tuesday nights, the next three Tuesdays from seven to eight on Zoom. And we are going to explain exactly what it means to connect to your emotions how to manage your emotions and how to use that information to rewrite your story and how to tell that through art making. And so it's going to be an incredible workshop and I'll drop some links to all of this information um, in the live video after we're done. But um, there's just so many good things going on. And if you've been through a year or two, that has really been hard on you and you are feeling low energy stressed like everyone. I mean, I don't think we meet or talk to anyone who hasn't been impacted by COVID. And I think that this is such a timely um, experience that we're offering because not only are we celebrating October, but we're celebrating the joy that creativity brings into people's lives. That's the most important thing. That is what I have been wanting to, that's my, me my mission and my message, right? That's why I started the creative group because I wanted to bring people together. That's why I created the art that I've created and done all the campaigns that I've done in Nashville with artwork because it's important that we connect creativity to, um, to the community so that they know that it's how powerful it truly is because we're not always, we're not taught this in school, right? We're not taught, like this is why adult coloring books are like some of the number one sellers in stores because people 
want to connect to their creativity, but sometimes they just don't know how. So that's what we're here to teach. That's what we're here to help people try to understand. And I just want to offer an opportunity to artists to go out there and do that and start now so that they don't have to wait anymore. Like we have a way of expressing ourselves that can be transformative and to be able to tell our stories in this way is so important to the healing process. So yeah, thanks for letting me be able to talk about this today, because as you can tell, I'm really passionate. <laughs> I know you are Beth. And I know that, um, the work that you did for us was called purpose. And so mm -hmm. that was kind of part of your own healing, I believe as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that you can, you can pop on over to now playing Nashville and search, uh, Beth English, and, um, you can read more about that purpose and that that interview that we had with you back in 2018 which was great too um so Beth I mean I feel like you kind of hit all the topics I mean I love this workshop though that you're doing is it open to the public or is it just for artists specifically? it's open to anyone who's curious about how creativity can help you through your healing process now I'm not a licensed art therapist but this is why art therapy, there's a field of art therapy. It's, it's extremely important. And I've worked with all sorts of organizations with, um, I know we did a project together with Mending Hearts where we had um, the women over there paint a mural and just hearing their stories and, and hearing them open up. And that's the thing. Art helps us open ourselves up and creativity is something that we can access when we open up. And when we've been struggling and, and, and burnt out, like we shut down emotionally and we get stuck and we get stagnant. And I think for those of you watching, you can totally understand what I'm talking about. And that's why it's so important to embrace creativity because it gives you a chance to open up, to share, to create a safe space for yourself, to be able to express whatever is within you to get it out of you. And so, you know, the things that we have done together, Aaron, has been so meaningful, the work and the partnerships that we have done over the years, because you know how powerful it is, and I know how powerful it is, but not everyone understands how extremely important it is to incorporate creativity into our daily lives so that we can live a more open, meaningful, intentional, purposeful life. Absolutely. Yeah. It's been extremely healing, I know, in the mental health world and, um, I, I mean, I find it, I'm a creative person. So um, I find that it's super helpful to me to kind of get my feelings out onto a canvas and to express them. And then that's a way, you know, that I can, I can kind of let go of that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, like, oh, that stress that whatever was bothering me, I can put it down somewhere. Um, I know oftentimes, sometimes I, I find writing helps too. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to this. I want to encourage everyone to go out, sign up for Beth's uh, workshops that she has happening this week. You can go to uh, BethEnglish.com and that's B-E-T-H-I-N-G-L-I-S-H.com and learn more about Beth. Uh, also the Create and Feel Art Competition. I just dropped that into the comments. So we hope you guys will um, submit your works there. Yes. And I will put a link as well in the comments to the art workshops because those tickets are going to be available on Eventbrite. Perfect. And if you Perfect. have any questions or want to reach out to me about anything that we've talked about here today, I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram at Beth English. That's B-E-T-H-I-N-G-L-I-S-H. I would love to share with you um, all of this that I'm passionate about. Love to hear your stories as well. You know, that's something that has been so encouraging for me over the last couple of years through the pandemic. And that's to connect with people online. And I've met artists all over the world who are doing this type of work to, to heal themselves and have found it very therapeutic. And so I think when we can connect with one another, it makes us feel less alone. It makes it feel like a world where we may be isolated, but we still can feel like there's people in our corner rooting for us because you know, not everyone knows to pick up a pencil or a pen and write or a paintbrush and paint. Um, but this is what I want to encourage people to do because I know what it was like before I started using creativity to heal myself. 
And I know what it's like after, and it's like night and day. And I just know that no one deserves to stay stuck in suffering for the, for any amount of time. Like we can do something about it. And I want to be someone who encourages people to know what to do and how to get out of it. Yes. Thank you, Beth, for being here. Um, we hope you guys go out and celebrate October. And thank you for joining us today on this conversation with Beth English about the create and fill art competition. Awesome. Thank you, Erin, for having me. Thank you, Arttober Nashville, now playing Nashville, the Community Foundation in Middle Tennessee, the Arts and Business Council, University of San Francisco, all the judges who are, you know, there's so many partners that have come together for this. And I'm just so appreciative because it really is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see Artists of the Week after they're chosen. It's going to be really thrilling. So yeah, you'll have to let us know when that is. We'll grab a picture ourselves. Definitely. Arttober Nash. That's right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, all thanks. right. <laughs> thanks for joining us. We'll see y'all again next Monday, actually, for Arttober TV. Awesome. Bye.